Hello friends. In this session, I will be talking about cross-language interoperability with C Sharp. Cross-language interoperability is a very important feature which allows any programmer to write applications which can be interoperable between different programming languages. Cross-language interoperability has always been a task for programmers and developers. Within Microsoft.NET Framework, this interoperability can be achieved very easily. And for that, Microsoft has created a framework and they called it CLS. CLS stands for Common Language Specification. This is part of .NET Framework layer and this allows multiple programming languages to communicate with each other. The limitation is that all the programming languages have to be .NET compliant. Means C Sharp can communicate with VB.NET and other .NET compliant languages within .NET framework territory. Now the concern here is that what makes a program interoperable that's the key and this demonstration is going to show you all the things what are the issues and concerns and how do you make a program interoperable with another programming language for my demo purpose I will be using a C sharp assembly which I will try to consume with VB.NET as you can see these two programming languages are totally different. They have different nature, different compiler, different syntax, different keywords, and so on. Hence, this is a very appropriate candidate for interoperable solutions. Right now, let's assume I have a C Sharp code, a class library, in which I have one sum function. And since C Sharp is case sensitive, means Something which I write in different case is considered altogether as a different member than the previous one. So here I have liberty to go and create two different functions with same name. But the point worth noticing is that this is considered as totally another function because this is a sum in lowercase and this sum has capital S means this is totally different class member in C sharp whereas can it be possible doing the same thing in a case insensitive programming language case insensitive means a language which does not differentiate in the casing for example vb.net Visual Basic, Basic, SQL. All these programming languages cannot differentiate between the cases. For them, lowercase sum and uppercase sum or any mixed cases of letters and characters are same. Now the issue here is that I am going to build this application which is class library 1 and I am going to build it and I am going to consume this within an application of VB.NET. So here I have Visual Basic.NET application. It is a console application which is having a main in it as you can see. Now I need to add a reference to that. So I am going to add a reference to class library 1. And once that is added, I need to use keyword imports class library one. And inside here, I am saying class library one dot class one obj. Since it is vb.net, so the, it's different. So this is the syntax for that. I have created an object and now I am saying obj dot. As you can see, 
the point worth noticing is that here you are not able to see any sum method which I have created. Let's have a closer look again. If you can see here, there is no sum method displayed. Whereas if you recall, in my class one, I have a small letter sum and this sum. So why I am not able to see any of the sum methods here? What's the problem? The problem is because now VB.NET by nature is a case in a sensitive programming language and it is getting confused that which sum method do I show? Because for VB.NET both the sum methods are same so it cannot differentiate. Now that's the problem. Now how do we solve this problem? The problem can be solved by using an attribute here and that attribute is needs to be added in in class library of C sharp and you call it assembly and you call it CLS compliant and you pass true as a parameter to it and you close the attribute. So once you say CLS compliant to true you save it and you build it build your project here. What you are going to see is you are going to see a warning. The warning says that there is one sum method if you can see it's capital S U M the second sum method which we added it says it is differing only in case and hence it is not CLS compliant. Now CLS which is common language specification is nothing more than a set of rules which allows two languages to communicate on common grounds. The key rules are in order to interoperate and communicate with other programming languages one programming language should not have any code implemented which differs only in the case or some features which only that programming language can understand and other programming language cannot. Hence, right now, the issue is that you are having one sum function which is differing only in the case. So to fix this, you have to just either remove it or change the name. So I chose to call it sum underscore version 2. This v2 is not a good naming convention. You should not have numbers in a function or a method name usually, but that is fine for now. So let's build it again. Make sure you go and check your error list. And here is one warning that is coming from vb.net. So to make sure it builds successfully and we have zero errors and warnings, let me rebuild it one more time. Go to error list. As you can see, there are no warnings, no errors. Hence, we have fixed the class library project by renaming it and now if I go to this vb.net project and I put it back, you have option by IntelliSense and you can see sum and sum underscore v2. Hence, the cross language interoperability allows you to write only the code which can be accessible by other programming language and since C sharp is case sensitive which has freedom to write the same name, same member variable of a class or a variable or a function, method, anything, any programming element in different cases. And when you go and interoperate with another programming language, it becomes a restriction or a limitation. So when architects go and design solutions, it is very important for them to understand is there any client application which is going to be written in different programming language than what we are writing this API in. So if I am a C Sharp developer and I have some consumer which is in VB.NET, then I should avoid using any members in my class or API which are differing only by the case. So I hope you understand the concept of common language specification. How do you make your C sharp code CLS compliant? That was easy. You just have to add one reference 
on top of your class library at assembly level. You call it assembly, CLS compliant, you pass it true and now it will give you a warning whenever you will have anything which is differing by case. Let's give it a shot one more time. So I am going to create another function here and I'm going to call this this kind of sum and I say int n1 comma int n2 and here I do return and I save it and I'm going to build it and make sure you just do not rely on success building because it does not highlight warnings and as you can see here is warning again and this warning right now is coming for the capital sum which I just have added means again you are having a member variable which is not CLS compliant so the key is once you see this warning it is developers job and the best coding practices also say that you should not have any member which is differing only by the case hence it is not CLS compliant and you are got to fix it now why it is not an error because many times you just want to let it go and hence it comes as a warning not as an error some teams are not peculiar about warnings and they let it go but some teams are not so you see what is your favorite uh, options of working as you can see on the client side here though is that some is not becoming available but some version 2 is becoming available means vb.net is getting, getting confused between this sum and this sum but visualbasic.net is clear about this one because it's totally different name for vb.net but it is getting confused for sure between this and this hence you do not see it in the IntelliSense but others can be seen when you fix the issue so how do we do that you may want to call it v3 you save it you rebuild it make sure you go and check your error list now this is coming because of vb.net so if you come here you can see some version 2 version 3 so all are becoming available again because these are totally different names and your code in C sharp is CLS compliant because nothing is differing only by the case that's why so I hope you learned cross language interoperability feature with C sharp and C sharp is the only language which can enforce it vb.net has nothing to do with this whole thing it's only on the C sharp C++ and these kind of languages which are case sensitive thank you very much for watching